tree. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Peppa, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. <coughs> I'll see you later, Peppa. Bye, Daddy. <coughs> What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh! I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Of course! Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um... On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> OK, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me, me. me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? <laughs> Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! 
Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff. And I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go! <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy bitsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! me, me. <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the woodland club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Oh, Me too. Oh, Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, the Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, 
I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. Oh, huh. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone goes the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily! What a surprise seeing you here! <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good! I've got just the one! Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favourite song! Skate on the disco town. Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Skate on down to the disco town. Wow. That's incredible! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Roller Disco. Everyone loves Roller Disco. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, Mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Nay. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. 
amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Trampolines. Peppa and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <laughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> Have a go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> hey. Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Hey, hey. Woohoo! Grown ups are bouncing. 
bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes. But it's fun, too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah! And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Peppa is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, 
I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad. You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig! She's on Mount Everest! What? The actual Mount Everest? No! The plastic one! I'll be right there! <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig! Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued! Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh! First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter 
and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow, it's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever! Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. To you, Mummy Pig. To you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. OK. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen Disc. Yes, I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy, are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. 
I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! <laughs> oh, I think it's working. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! <laughs> to you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. <laughs> little cars. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. <laughs> Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> <laughs> I won the rocket car! <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car! <laughs> I am driving the carrot car! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear! Happy children enjoying themselves! <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like! <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 hello. hello. What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you.
You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties, brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. <coughs> Happy birthday, Goldie. 
Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. The tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> it is a traffic jam. <laughs> Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. We'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. Now, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour. <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No. Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> No traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. <laughs> Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Guinea pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww. And this is Brian. 
lion. He is very sensitive. <coughs> Aww. Now, children, I am going on holiday next week. And I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me! 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 It's a bit of work, and you will need to take them home. Me! Me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes! I love animals! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy! Look what I've got! Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. OK. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Ah. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes, it is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. <coughs> yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Pepper. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello? Daddy Pig here? Hello! This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes. We're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Pepper, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Uh, um, yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. <laughs> Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! 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 Hoop
good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> <laughs> Now, lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 I like jumping. Jump, jumping is fun. Very good. And rest. Now, we come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madam Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Great big crawly safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. Ooh. Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. 
I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great! Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah! We have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> Oh, how charming! Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh! <laughs> Are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs>